Ever since I was a kid, I've absolutely loved horror movies. I used to hide behind a chair when they were on, but nonetheless, I still wanted to watch them. Saw, Halloween, Nightmare on Elm Street, Friday the 13th, and more were all films that I loved to watch. Over time, I became almost numb to horror movies. They aren't really scary for me anymore, but they're still just incredibly entertaining. I've become fascinated with horror films throughout my life, and not just the films themselves, but everything behind the scenes as well. From the script to the special effects and all the tiny details in between, I just love it all. And I'm sure many fans of the genre do as well. But there are seemingly a group of people who tend to despise these movies. Critics consistently trash horror films. Sure, if you check Rotten Tomatoes now, a lot of classics like Alien or The Shining have pretty positive reviews, but at the time of release, these movies were trashed. A typical trend for movie critics is to absolutely trash a horror film at release and then change their scores years later. Whether it be a genuine change of heart or just trying to appease to the fans of the films, I'm not sure. But why is it that critics hate the horror genre in the first place? Many believe it's because of the somewhat amateur and cheap nature of the genre. A lot of horror films are relatively low budget, with fresh-faced actors trying to make a quick buck. But that's not all of them. Many horror films are made by people who generally love and appreciate the genre. So many horror films have references to other films in the genre that set the path before them. A great example being the back and forth references between Evil Dead and Nightmare on Elm Street. Horror films also fall under a stereotype of being about sex score and dumb teens. And for the slasher genre, that's mostly true, but not all horror movies follow that format. Most have gore, but some franchises barely have any kills at all, most notably the Conjuring Annabelle franchise. Many recent horror films are rated PG-13 to try and get a bigger audience, which somewhat cuts out the possibility for anything sexual to happen, and some films, like The Thing or Ready or Not, follow smart characters figuring out how to survive the situation they're in, negating the dumb teen trope. Of course, there are countless horror tropes that people can say are dumb and overused, but every genre has overused tropes, so I can't see how that's any sort of criticism to use against them. I do understand that some people just can't do horror, whether it be the gore, the feelings that one gets watching the films, and people not as well adept to them may find the scares too much, and that's understandable. But as film critics, you would think that watching movies for a living and seeing many horror films as they probably have in their time in that field, they would have the same sort of tolerance fans of the genre have but yet they still trash these films. To be completely honest, horror isn't a perfect genre. It has plenty of flaws, many of which I listed, but that doesn't stop it from being a fun genre. Whether you're watching them to get scared, to make fun of them with some friends, or just appreciate the genre, it's entertainment, and entertainment is subjective. Not everyone likes the same things, which is why I think it's dumb to worry about what a critic thinks before I watch a movie. Who cares if they hate horror films? There are thousands of horror fans like me and probably you who just enjoy the films because they entertain us. And at the end of the day, isn't that what movies are all about? <laughs>